What up, it's your boy Plan B85, here with a quick tutorial on how to import your own sounds into Beatmaker 3. There are a lot of videos floating around on how to do this. I'm gonna just show you guys how I do it. Dropbox is really my go-to, but there are some other ways which I'm gonna show you in this video. Uh, since I've been collecting sounds for quite some time, a lot of my tracks are already zipped up in zip folders, so it's, um, it's pretty easy for me to get. Uh, my stuff from Dropbox into Beatmaker and Beatmaker is integrated with Dropbox. So it, it's, it's, it's been seamless for me. So simply hit your menu, the three lines up here on the upper left hand corner um, and the Dropbox um, icon will show up in the uh, lower right. Um, so I hit that, I'm gonna put in, let's see. I have, I have some zip folder in here. Let's go to this chop folder here. And uh, the good thing about Beatmaker is uh, once you select something here, whatever is visible in your document section over here is where it's automatically gonna download to, which this is where I want it to go, but let's get a more specific folder. Um, my, uh, let's go to my imports up here, which I have a few, uh, from the latest and greatest hit download and the zip file is just going to automatically appear there so you can hit these three lines here and it's going to automatically uh, unzip it uh, and you can drag and drop if you've already been using Beatmaker already uh, you can simply go into your folder here your kicks snares claps things like that you can simply go in. Oh gosh, I don't even have anything in here. Oh, that sucks. All right. Well, no, no. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I probably didn't put the. I didn't go to the right folder. I was about to say, what is happening? All right. So, <laughs> all right. So simply go in, and you know, drag and drop. However you, however you feel. Another way to do it. Um, I've seen people use Audio Share, which is pretty good. Uh, I don't really use it, but for the sake of this video, I downloaded it just so you guys could actually see um, if you've never seen it before. Uh, and Audio Share pretty much acts, it's integrated with Dropbox as well, but if you're effectively using Dropbox like myself, it really doesn't make any sense to put files in here and then transfer them to Beatmaker 3. It's, it's an extra step. But um, you can also, like if you have sounds on your computer, like pretty large folders or something like that, um, you can put them on uh, uh, into your iTunes share uh, folder and they'll automatically show up um, in uh, uh, Audio Share or Beatmaker 3. Um, another method too, if you are a person that likes to download stuff offline, uh, which a lot of us do, uh, you can go to, let me see if I have it up here, into documents. And I, my, my, my little brother, shout out to Corey Orlando, he put me on to sounds.com, which uh, I've used a couple times up here. And on this website, they have pretty much everything. Go through and you can simply, you can actually see which ones I've already downloaded. Uh, but you can go through and hit this little icon here and this will download straight to your iPad. And you can do that with multiple sounds if you want to. And how you access these files is you hit this menu option over here to the uh, left, hit documents, and you'll see all the stuff that I've downloaded here and even the archive stuff, which is the zip folders here. Uh, and you can go through and I, I actually show you with one of you can go through and select which ones if you don't want to do all of them you can zip them up and you can hit whichever one is zipped up i'm not at the yeah this is the one i just did just now hit done you can hit the menu hit the uh the icon here and hit share and there's automatically a copy to Beatmaker 3 option. So you hit Beatmaker 3 and uh, it says unzip content is now available in my imports directory. So I'll go to my imports directory here and 
Walla Archive 2 there with everything I just downloaded. So, yes. Uh, I've seen other people use uh, files. I'm not sure. Um, I used to have a uh, the Beatmaker 3 icon that would come up in files over here on the left, but it doesn't show up anymore. So if anybody knows the fix to that, let me know. But like I said, Dropbox is pretty much what I use. You can zip files. I, I even use uh, AirDrop too. AirDrop sends it straight to my straight to uh, Beatmaker. Um, so yeah, so there's a lot of different ways that you can get your regular fro your um, your sounds from your computer into Beatmaker 3. It's fairly simple. Um, yeah, and there you have it. Hope you guys are enjoying Beatmaker 3. You guys follow me. All my social media handles will be at the bottom at PlanB85. Y'all know what it is. Peace.